So Mr. Bennett was a brave man and, uh, you know, uh, without his contribution, we couldn't have done this, uh, this procedure. And he, he was brave enough to donate his uh, uh, body, his uh, to, to science, and to accept this, uh, this porcine heart, which many would not. Uh, and we are very grateful to him. We are grateful to his family who also supported uh, during this, pro this uh, long um, you know, survival of two months. And we've been very much in contact with them and they've, they've been very supportive in this effort. This is the first time that pick organ has been transplanted in human. And there, there are a lot of unknowns that we have, uh, uh, we can discover uh, after carefully evaluating the data that we have accumulated over this period. Uh, and, and, and a lot of new information uh, will come out that will help the field move forward at a, at a faster pace. Until day 45 or 50, he was doing very well, everything, but, but you know, off and on, he was having uh, infectious episodes. Uh, uh, we were having difficulty uh, maintaining a balance between his immunosuppression and controlling his infection, uh, and that was always been a difficult task. Unfortunately, you know, his, uh, his multiple organs started to fail, and finally, you know, I think, that resulted in his, uh, his passing away. We, we continually, continuously appraised them of, of the progress uh, and until the last day they were present uh, with him and, and with the consultation of the care team, they made the final decision of not prolonging this further. You know, thanks to Mr. Bennett, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, gotten survival of 60 days, which is more than any, uh, anyone could have imagined uh, working in this field. Uh, we wished that he would have lived longer, but uh, based on his pre-existing condition and how frail his body was, uh, it was very difficult to, to man maintain a balance and you know, protect his, his, uh, his heart and other organs 